Hello, people. Another beautiful day or night. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Hope your health and strength is good. <clears throat> and to you, Steam Deck fans, what's up with it? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, what's up? Steam Deck Mod, what's good? And the Steam Deck uh, Squad. Hmm. So what do we what do we have what do we have for you here? What what do we have for you, Steam Deck and Linux uh, gamers? We got Solar Ash. A new game that's coming out coming to Steam. Linux desktop. It's Steam Deck on December 8th. Listen to this. Hmm. Says here a new Steam game briefly delayed right before release. Says here, a new game coming to Valve's uh, Steam platform on PC has been briefly delayed right before it launched. Over the past few years, Steam and Epic Game Store have been somewhat at odds with one another as Epic has looked to snag time exclusivity for a number of titles that arrive on PC. Hmm. Time exclusivity. Where, where did you hear that from? Oh. When uh, Sony was hitting Xbox with all those time exclusive games, and Xbox fans had to wait six months almost to a year to play a game. Anyway, it says here, and while the game in question has been available on PC for the past year via the Epic Game Store, it will finally be landing on Steam this time next week. Hmm. It says, announced by Annapurna Interactive this week, Solar Ash has had a brief delay when it comes to launching on Steam. Originally slated to release on Tuesday, December the 6th, the game is now poised to land a mere two days later, December the 8th. Anna Perner developer Heart Machine didn't give a specific reason for this new launch date, but either way, the change should be, shouldn't be a massive deal to those who are looking to play the title. You know what, this reminds me of, um, this reminds me of when, um, when uh, Sony, when Street Fighter Five was on the uh, on the on PlayStation Five, right? I mean, not on PlayStation Five, but PlayStation Four. Street Fighter Five was on PlayStation Four, and um, when it came to Street Fighter Six, they announced the video, right? They 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 made a video. Capcom and Sony made a video for Street Fighter Six, right? But they made it look like. Street Fighter 6 wasn't coming to Xbox or PC, right? And then it was like weeks, like two weeks later or a week later, we got to find out that Street Fighter 6 is coming to Xbox and PC. So this is what this uh, Solar uh, Ash reminds me of between Epic and um, and, uh, and, Aperna, uh, um, um, and, Aperna, and um and the developer Heart Machine. That's it's like it's like they pulled the same prank. It's like they're telling Epic, like, well, you know, we, we're going to make them wait a two extra days before we, the game was supposed to come out, say, like, on the 6th, but we're going to wait two extra days before they can play it. Anyway, uh, let me keep going here. It says here, for those unfamiliar with Solar Ash, it is a third-person action game that was originally released December 2021 for PC and PlayStation. It happens to be the second title from Heart Machine, the first of which was 2016 critically acclaimed Hyperlight Drifter. Although the art style of Solar Ash and Hyperlight Drifter are somewhat similar, each game plays quite differently from one another. In our own review of Solar Ash, we compared the game traversals to the likes of Jet Set Radio while comparing its, its bosses to those seen in titles like Shadows of Colossus. Okay, it says here, if you're interested in learning more about Solar Ash prior to its release on Steam, you can check out the game official description down below. It says here, from the creators of the award-winning Hyperlight Drifter comes the high-speed and gravity-bending world of Solar Ash, set amidst a surreal dreamscape, fill, dreamscape filled with long-abandoned ruins of great civilizations past. You play as Re. A void runner determined to stop at nothing to save her planet from falling praise to the ultra, vi ultra void uh, path of eternal hunger. Mm. Mm. Says here, fight through mobs of grotesque creatures, grind rails with sheer delight, uh, grapple to wild heights, take down numerous bosses, 
and serve the ashen clouds of shattered uh, bygone worlds swallowed by the void in this highly styled action adventure unlike no other will re-preserve and make her way through the deadly encounters of this ravenous void in, or in order to save her home will she learn the truth about these massive beasts that roam this strange land and uncover the mysteries of the star seed and echoes the answer to these questions and more awaits you in ultra void so solar ash and ultra void december the 8th linux to steam linux desktop and of course steam deck and you steam deck should fan should have some have a blast with this game and then uh the amd fsr 2.1 uh, update comes into play with this game too so whenever amd releases a new fsr update the steam deck benefits from it so does the linux desktop so you got you you guys you steam you linux desktop gamers and steam deck gamers have fun with uh so solar ash you know and ultra void so um uh the game was supposed to come out on the sixth but they pushed it to the eighth but like I told you people, it reminds me of when um, Street Fighter V was on the PlayStation 4. But then when when they just, when Capcom, when, after the, the time was up with uh, Street Fighter V, Sony and Capcom made a video about Street Fighter VI. And they tried to make it look like the game wasn't coming for Xbox to Xbox or PC at all. And um, we got to find out weeks later that it is coming to Xbox and PC. So... It's the same thing with this uh, Solar Ash, you know, Epic pull one of those stunts, you know, to make the, the, the Steam fans uh, wait two days, you know, wait two more days before they can finally play the, finally play the game. That's what this reminds me of. But other than that, um, you Steam Deck fans um, and Linux desktop gamers, have fun with this game and enjoy it, you know. Um, like I told you, with AMD and the FSR, and all the updates that Valve has been putting out with Steam OS, you guys are gonna have it's gonna, this game is gonna benefit from all those updates that's coming, you know, that, that the Steam Deck already already have, and that is coming to the Linux desktop and Steam Deck. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Four Dark Side. Go. Peace.